Hello YouTubers, I'm an old Scottish guy and here's my credentials. I've genuine old people wallpaper. I actually own a barometer and I live in Mulgai, which is Scotland's capital city for old people. But we're not here to talk about me, we're here to talk about bellows blown Scottish small pipes and learning them at an age when some people might think you probably shouldn't, as you're already over the hill. These are my small pipes. They were a 60th birthday present from my wife and they were made by Ross Calderwood at Lockhouch Bagpipes. My wife has a terminal illness and she thought it would be the last present she ever bought me, so they are rather special. They are a fantastic sounding set and my wife has defied the doctors and is still here on this planet. So I hope to do both the pipes and my wife justice by playing them well. I will make a small disclaimer here. I have played the more well-known Great Highland bagpipe before, both solo and in bands, but not to any high degree, and not for some years. I first attempted to learn small pipes a couple of years ago, but then I got ill, then my wife got ill, then lockdown happened, and it all went out the window for a while. So this is me getting back into the saddle, as it were. I'm using an old Zoom Q2N to record this. It's got a bit of a fisheye lens, which I'm not that keen on, but it's good for sound recording, and as it says, it's handy. I'd also like to say Highland tunes are fine, but it's not what I'll be concentrating on here. I've no real interest in playing pipe band type tunes on a bellows blown bagpipe. I'm super saturated with them. They're everywhere you go in Scotland, especially in the summer which was on a Thursday last year, in parks, up the hills, by the lockside, even the local eggs are at it. I'd also like to make this clear this is not a tutorial. I'm not a teacher, I'm a learner, it's more of a sharing experience, so feel free to join me if you're learning too. I'll be learning from this book, More Power to Your Elbow, and learning mostly lowland tunes as the book is published by the Lowlands and Borders Piper Society. There's a link to the website below and you can buy the book online from then. It's easy to find an instructor for the Highland bagpipes, but very few around for the small pipe and even less for the border pipe. So I'm guessing most pipers who use bellows are self-taught. Tunes in the book are categorised from easy to hard, so obviously I'll start with the ones marked easy, but first there's technique to learn. The book is easy to understand when it comes to learning the scale and it covers the basic bagpipe scale clearly as well as all the grace notes. The videos which accompany the book go through these as well as bellows technique and they are demonstrated by Ian McInnes who is a well-known small piper. Ian is an excellent piper and is younger, more intelligent, more talented, more experienced and much much more handsome than me so pay attention to the videos of Ian. Only a small number of the tunes in the book are contained in the accompanying videos, so I thought it would be interesting to try and post versions of the ones not included as I either progress or fail. Also, I'd like to add, I deviate from the book on one small piece about Bellows technique and pressure. The book advises building a manometer to help as a visual aid when it comes to keeping a steady pressure. I haven't got time to make a manometer or any place to keep one, so I'm using an old Korg tuner. These are fairly cheap. My chanter is set up to play in the key of A, so as long as the tuner is set at 440 Hz, it should be a useful guide to how steady your pressure is. You want to keep the needle in the middle with the green light on. If your pressure is too high, the needle will go up into the red. If your pressure is too low, it will drop down again and that red light will flash. As I've made it clear, I'm a beginner, probably much like yourself, so don't expect perfection. This is probably the most important but yet the most boring bit. If you want to annoy your family and your neighbours, then just go for it and hold down that low note as steady and as long as you can. My small pipes have wooden plugs for shutting off the drones. If yours don't, a wee dot of blue tack on the drone end will do just fine. I'm shutting off the drones to practice holding a steady note with just the chanter playing.
So, that's the first big thing to learn. Bellows technique and steady pressure. There's tuning your drones as well, of course, which is all explained in the book and in the accompanying videos with Ian McInnes. But you can't tune your drones until you've learned to keep a steady pressure. I'll be sticking with this for a while and going through the exercises before attempting my first tune from the book in the next video. I hope it will be a much shorter video than this one and thank you for your patience.